Ah, Padawan. I heard your shuttle arriving. I am Master Sio Bakarn of the Jedi Council. Welcome to Tython. This is the ancestral home of our order, where the Jedi first came to be, and where our most promising Padawans complete their training. I'm surprised a member of the Jedi Council would come to meet me. I wanted to meet the student who's caused such a stir. Your instructors tell me that even in childhood you had a remarkable connection to the Force. We haven't seen such power in decades. I was hoping your new master would be here. Yuan left her dig site and is returning to Tython specifically to train you. Is Master Yuan an archaeologist? In a way. As you become her Padawan, never forget your initial training, nor the Jedi Code. There is no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. There is no death, there is the Force. This is... Yuan, I was beginning to worry. So you've arrived safely, my Padawan. I'm sorry I can't greet you properly, but we already have a crisis on our hands. I'm at your service, Master. Tython is a treasure trove of ancient Jedi relics. Recently our researchers uncovered several teaching holograms, but they've not been fully studied. These holograms may be records of the founders of the Jedi Order. They're absolutely irreplaceable. But a large group of flesh raiders has begun rampaging through that region. Those priceless holograms are in danger. Is there a way to protect the holograms? Someone must slip past the Flesh Raiders to recover these holograms' projectors. I intend this to be the first task of your training. No, Yuan. You can't risk a Padawan against Flesh Raiders, even for such important artifacts. A Padawan who was stronger in the Force at four years old than I was at fifteen? Gifted students need greater challenges. So I must recover these holograms and watch for Flesh Raiders. Where should I begin? The holograms are in the Gnarls. Be vigilant. That region has dangers of its own. If you encounter any difficulties, contact me on this holo communicator. When you have the holograms, meet me at the Jedi Temple. We have much to discuss. The sands of Tatooine await you, apprentice. I've gleaned much since our interrogation of the Republic agent here on Drolland Kass. I am certain Noman Kar brought this gifted Padawan to Tatooine to train with a legendary master named Yonlock. Years ago, I urged the Dark Council to hunt down and destroy this Jedi. They refused, and Yonlock went into hiding on Tatooine. What should I do with him once I track him down? Young Locke is the one who brought the Padawan's powers into expression. Now they share a special bond. Find him and destroy him. I will bring the old man to his knees. Norman Carr shelters his prize, so we will draw her out by destroying everything she loves. My servant Shara Biv will guide you. She is eccentric, an acquired taste, but give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm making no promises. I will often indulge your whims, apprentice, as long as you deliver results. But in this case, mold yourself closely to my commands. That is all. The harsh sands of Tatooine welcome you. I am Sharak Reeve. Our lord and master, Darth Barris, bid me to impart my knowledge of this planet and help you track down the Jedi Master, Yanlok. Barris is only my master in name. I did not mean to offend, my lord. You and you alone will be my master during this time. Complete subservience is the only way you will survive the experience. Then I will launch myself into the task at hand immediately. You will find Master Yonlock by tracing the path the Padawan and her master took. I can tell you where they started. I followed them to the forbidden lair of the ancient sand demon, a terrible beast. The Padawan left her weapons and entered alone. Impossibly, she returned unscathed. Now you've got my undivided attention. 
The Sand Demon is the fiercest creature on this planet. You don't just walk into its lair and return without a scratch. I investigated further. The beast was there, also undamaged. And what's most perplexing, its skin was glistening. That is very confusing. Was it bleeding? Not blood as from a wound. More like the layer of living gel one is born into the world covered in. What happened in that cave is a mystery. As is where the Padawan and her master went afterwards. There is one man on Tatooine who might be able to explain. Isabeau Jeef. He's as old as the sand. Part madman, part soothsayer. Better not be a waste of time. If anyone can deduce why the Padawan sought the Sand Demon, it is he. It will not be easy to speak with Jeef. The small farming settlement where he lives has been overrun by exchange thugs. The Exchange hates the Empire for running them out of Mos Ela. They will allow me to pass, but they'll attack you on sight. They won't see me coming until it's too late. Then I will meet you at Isabeau Jeef's hut. Welcome to Tatooine. If you hold a moment, I can provide directions to the research center. I wasn't aware of any research center. You're... Sorry, my error. Much of the Imperial traffic we get is assigned to the archaeological expedition. Security, scientific equipment... They don't tell me what it's for. If you're going to be here long, you might wish to consult with Captain Gola. We wouldn't want to interfere with Sith activity. It's not your place to make suggestions. Understood. I'll, uh, I'm doing the best I can to anticipate your needs. Activation protocol begins. So, after the long silence, finally someone comes. I am Karen Jard. Millennia ago, I stood as a founder of the Jedi Order. For a hologram, you're surprisingly articulate. We needed worthy vessels for our knowledge. When the Jedi Order began, I saw we must be dedicated to peace, to calming our emotions, and ending war across the galaxy. If we fought, it should only be in self-defense. That is the founding principle of civilization. Being civilized also means defending those weaker than yourself. Indeed. But we must do so knowing the mark it will leave upon history and on ourselves. The Jedi may have changed, but galactic peace has always remained one of our goals. Activation protocol complete. Go well. Activation protocol begins. Ah, another has come to listen. When the Jedi Order was founded, I, Calibrin, said we should devote ourselves to justice. True justice cannot be driven by emotion. We Jedi can set our passions aside and seek the truth without fear or favor. If you can't feel mercy, justice suffers. Sorrow for the victim, or outrage at the crime, can blind us. To see clearly, such feelings must be put aside. It has served us well. We Jedi are renowned for our fairness, our honesty. Now. That reputation is yours to keep. Activation protocol complete. Activation protocol begins. A new Jedi comes to learn. Excellent. Excellent. I am Ter Sindon, keeper of the histories, a founder and chronicler of the Jedi Order. I saw us becoming guardians of knowledge and secrets. We Jedi would safeguard the wisdom of the galaxy. I've come to retrieve the projector for your hologram. It's in danger of being destroyed by flesh raiders. Ah, saving what could be lost forever. My thanks. Activation protocol complete.
Master Yuan, I've encountered a problem. One of the hollow projectors has been stolen. Stolen? But the flesh raiders don't steal, they destroy. I'll look into this. If you have the other holograms, come and meet me at the Jedi Temple. I'm sending you directions now. And please, Padawan, be careful. Need those water readings. We won't get more supplies without a report. Sorry, sir. I'll check as soon as I can. Sand in the gauges. Blast. Bring in some local technicians. See if they can fix us up while I greet our guests. My lord, Barden Gola, Imperial Reclamation Service. I've run excavations on Zeost, Malachor II, and Nimdrovis. But add a little heat and dust and we've got nothing but trouble. I'm not interested in your complaints. Why are Imperial troops stationed here? We'll have to go through... Ah, Captain Gola and his crew report to me. I am Darth Silpha. They are my hands, digging and scraping where I cannot. We came to Tatooine to solve a mystery. One of dead men and desert secrets. Not for conquest, but for power. I've come to Tatooine in the name of Darth Barris. I know your master. Perhaps we can find common ground. The Empire recently found a damaged shuttle drifting through deep space. It came from a Zerka Corporation research base on Tatooine. Zerka had Tatooinean artifacts they claimed were the find of the millennium. Mystery devices with the energy throughput of a sun. But a month after the shuttle launch, their research base disappeared. Zerka never came back. Somewhere in this wasteland is power enough to destroy a world, remake a galaxy. My team is going to find the Zerka base and these artifacts along with it. We will learn their secrets. Will you join us? If there's such power to be found here, I will claim it. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Our family is growing, Captain. If you say so, my lord. Welcome to the team. Now, scattered across the desert, sheltered within caves, live a people called the Sons of Palawa. They are an exacting and ritualistic tribe, come to Tatooine to test themselves against the elements. A settlement nearby has something we need. They will cooperate or meet their doom. Yes. Though their might is considerable, especially as they possess... What was it, Captain? Experimental battle droids, armed with turbo lasers, shields, and who knows what else. Circa droids, no doubt rebuilt by the sons of Palawa. And the tribals are not inclined to share. Leave that to me. After the Empire took Mos Ela, the sons of Palawa decided we were invaders. They'll shoot anyone who gets close. But why should that stop you? If the droids truly are from Zerka, I want their secrets. Dissect them, peel the droids' armor, and bring the captain their verbal brains. Then they will lead us to the missing Zerka base. It's out of my hands, Kaisen. I haven't. Padawan, come in. This is Kaisen Fess, an old friend. He's here on a hunting expedition. A sacred Trandoshan tradition. It's an honor to meet you. Some people, even some Jedi, disapprove of my friendship with Kaisen. I wanted you to meet, before rumors prejudiced you. First, thank you for saving the holograms. The Jedi have lost enough lately without losing our history, too. One of the holo projectors was taken before I could reach it. I recall, and not just one at random, it seems. That hologram is of the infamous Master Rajivari. Rajivari was another of the Jedi founders. He turned to the dark side. He betrayed the very order he helped to create. This Rajivari's betrayal paved the way for the Sith. Rajivari was immensely powerful. That stolen hologram could hold his darkest secrets. The thief is likely from Kalikori village. Local Twi'lek pilgrims here illegally. Many of them are poor or hungry. Selling an ancient holo projector could feed those villagers for months. I'd like you to go to Kalikori village, discover who took the holo projector and retrieve it. But tread lightly. The Twi'leks are here in defiance of Republic law. We're forbidden to fully defend them, even when the flesh raiders attack. Relations are strained. We're Jedi. 
Aren't we obligated to help those in need? This is the Jedi Council's judgment. I might disagree, but the decision is made. When you reach Kalikori Village, find Bashen, captain of the village guard. He knows everyone. He may have seen the hollow projector. I think meeting these pilgrims will be a good lesson for you, Padawan. Go carefully. Not a cask. Or three. The festival only comes once a year. Our stores can take it. Just as well. We have an uninvited guest. I see. Festival of Awakening, Jedi. You're not welcome here. I apologize for interrupting. Master Yuan Par asks if you've seen a Jedi holo projector. Huh. If Yuan Par is asking, guess we could try and remember. A holo projector? Yeah, I know what you mean. Nalan found one. Nalan Rollick. Maybe you've heard of him? Sorry, I've only just arrived on this world. Nalan Rollick, our dueling champion for nine years straight. He once rescued an entire scouting party from Flesh Raiders single-handed. He planned our defenses, protects us when we go foraging. Without him, we wouldn't even be having the festival. And no, I am not telling you where he is. Nalan earns his peace and quiet. That hologram's data isn't safe. Nalan should be warned. Or do you want to risk something happening to him? Nalan can take care of himself. Against flesh raiders, sure. But some of that Jedi tech is weird. Okay, fine. Nalan went into the flesh raiders' territory. He's probably still there. He's been gone a while. I thought this was a special day. Shouldn't he be here celebrating? Nalan just... Likes to be alone these days, and festivals aren't really his thing. Though last year, he did the Waker's Dance with the rest of us. I think Nalan's got a camp out there. If you see him, tell him to be back for the feast. The world is weeping. And the tears evaporate in the heat of our sins. I think you mean from the heat of our suns, Isabeau. No, child. There is a dark presence newly arrived on Tatooine. Ah, Sith. You made it. The hostels outside were no match for you, I see. Let's just get down to business. To do the business you are about, one must indeed sink very low. You are the seeker Sharak spoke of. You wish to understand the Jedi's purpose in the lair of the Sand Demon. I came for the scintillating conversation. When the suns are bright, everything scintillates on Tatooine. Please, Isabeau, make haste. Tell my friend what you know. I will remain here after to hear your wisdom. Fine. Gather close. Few are aware that Tatooine was once a place of positive force energy. Jedi made pilgrimages here to renew and purify. The Sands speak of a ritual called the Demon's Blood. This is likely what the Jedi that Sharak witnessed was engaged in. I don't want suspicions, I want facts. Everything is fiction, shaped by the teller's perspective. The Demon's Blood. A Jedi seeking enlightenment would cover himself in fresh Sand Demon blood and enter the village of the Savage Ones. Cowering before the Demon Slayer, the Savage Ones would reveal the path to self-discovery and to that which the Slayer seeks. Do you mean the Sand People? Tatooine makes most who come here savage. And the Sand People have been here all along. Isabel, as I told you, the girl faced the beast, but left it unwounded. There must be another way to bathe in the beast's blood. But you'll have to discover that for yourself, if you care to. To know where this Jedi girl went, you'll have to perform the ritual yourself, and then see if the Savage Ones speak. If I don't find satisfaction, it will be your blood I bathe in. Satisfaction of any kind in the Tatooine Desert is likely an illusion. Here are the coordinates you will need. After you face the Sand Demon, I will meet you at the Sand People compound. 
If the legend is true, and the Sand People have something to offer you, I wish to see it with my own eyes. You make a lot of noise. I come for a flesh raider, I find a Jedi Padawan. I come to listen, to think among the dead, to fight for my people. Why have you come? My master sent me to bring Rajavari's holo projector back to the temple. I'm called Nalan Ralok. The others in the village spin tales of their legendary protector. They don't understand. Are the flesh raiders destroyed? No. My people aren't safe until my learning's complete. Tython's relics still have lessons. I listen. I can do things I never imagined possible. I will be the defender my people deserve. Once you become this great defender, what's the next step? We make Tython ours. No Jedi, no Republic. Our world to plow and harvest and defend. We hunt the Flesh Raiders to extinction and laugh. Rajavari showed me how to punish them. Flesh Raiders will come, but not leave. A merciful death compared to what my people have suffered. What crimes have I committed that deserve being buried alive? There are hidden wonders, Jedi. And my journey has just begun. Now run, or die. about our present undertaking. When I seek input, I'll ask for it. My apologies, my lord. Time is upon us. The demon has caught our scent. The beast must die.
seen a beast bleed so much. It seems we are to literally bathe in the demon's blood. The beast's stench is thick on us. It makes my eyes water. I think you'll survive. I'll contain my commentary, even if I can't contain the smell. I believe we have succeeded in the demon blood ritual. Are we to move on to the Santa People compound, my lord? Sounds like a plan. Lead the way, my lord. Torana Dalven, the daughter of Kalikori Village's matriarch, concerning your visit there. I want you to meditate on what you learned. Such experiences are what shape us as Jedi. I found the hollow projector, as you asked. We should check that Rajivari's hologram is safe. The hollow projector was stolen by a Twi'lek, Neelan Ralak. He'd learned force techniques from Rajavari's hologram. He was obviously unstable. A villager? Very unusual. Then this Neelan is force sensitive. Let's see what he saw. Activation protocol begins. A few words. Shall this be all my legacy? No. My enemies are long dead. It is time. I have left true wisdom behind. For those who follow where the first blade points, from the Sanctuary of the Order, all else is fleeting. My word, true wisdom. Padawan, he, he's talking about the Fount of Rajivari. What is this Fount of Rajivari? After Rajivari fell, sources claimed he created a great archive of his knowledge and teachings. The Fount of Rajivari. Generations of Jedi search for it, finding nothing. The Founts considered a hoax by all reputable scholars, but we just heard proof. Aelin Ralak saw this hologram, Master. More of Rajavari's knowledge could make him incredibly dangerous. The hologram said, follow where the first blade points, from the Sanctuary of the Order. Kaleth! The ruins at Kaleth. The name means Sanctum. It's the remains of an ancient fortress. Evidence suggests Kaleth was destroyed in a great battle. Old droids still walk those ruins today, but this first blade is a puzzle. If it was once a fortress, it could refer to weapons that were stored in Kaleth. We have found several old weapons in one section of Kaleth. Nothing like a first blade, but a good place to begin. Ah, I planned your training so carefully, but the Force has intervened. Finding the Fount of Rajivari and stopping Nalan must be a greater test. Are you saying the Force is guiding me? Sometimes the Force, not the Master, shapes a Padawan's trials. This seems to be such a time. You should know, Padawan. The Council tends to disapprove of such training, but I'll explain everything to them. For now, focus on exploring Kaleth for this first blade. Call me on your holocommunicator at once if you have any success. and observed your descent here. I could not believe my eyes. The Sand People all ran from you. What transpired inside the Sand Demon Cave that makes this so? It was an epic battle, and I killed the beast. You have bathed in the demon's blood. Its essence fills the air. Now, Isabeau said that this is where your path will be illuminated. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait! On your guard, Offworlder. One of the Sand People approaches. Enough of this. It didn't even attempt to defend itself. I've never seen one of its kind be so passive.
parchment the sand person brought is remarkable. It is a crude but very clear map of the desert. It marks a door carved into the wall of the Desert Moon Ravine. But I've mapped this ravine and there is no such door. Perhaps the sand people know the desert better than you. Perhaps. An unsettling thought. The ravine marks the farthest I or anyone I know of has dared venture. Here are the coordinates. I will follow stealthed, using the dune shadows. Think first of your own safety and do not follow if it becomes too harrowing. Your concern is appreciated. Darth Barris enlisted my services to be scout and lookout, and I intend to do my job. Head deeper into the desert, and you will find the Desert Wound Ravine. Safe trip. I am Fair Wong, of the Sons of Palawa. You have won this battle, and I call for parley. You brutalized our keepings. Tell us why our wives and children weep, so that this feud may be honorable. Honor means nothing to me. Only power matters. One can have honor and power. I've fought enough Sith to see proof. We know about the Empire's expedition. Whatever you are after, you won't find it. The desert protects its own. And though we can't keep you from departing, beware Tatooine, and beware our vengeance. You've made an enemy today. You won't survive long enough to get revenge. And your bloodlust will lead to your death. Sorry, my lord. I'm... I'm remembering that time on Zyost, when I was buried alive. That's good. Use that fear, Hale. Let it push you. Ah, did you bring us the droid mines? I obtained the part, but it riled up the tribals. That is of no concern. The sons of Palawa will not trouble us. I sense we'll do incredible things together. Circus Discovery is out there somewhere, sending ripples through the Force. Let's get the Verba brains analyzed, my lord. Kila. Memory Wipe destroyed the old files, but it looks like the Sons of Palawa bought the droids from Jawas. All right. Guess that makes the Jawas our next lead to the Zerka base. With the Jawas trade with the Sons. They'll sell their goods to anyone. Mos Ela was originally their trading post. The Jawas are one of the native species, primitive masters of machinery. They swarm like rats during the trade season, selling droid parts and generators. Then it's back to the desert. In my dreams, I see one band that remains in the wastes near this city. Find them. I must meditate. I will hunt them through fire and dust. Yes. No savage could escape a Sith like yourself.
Show respect. You stand before greatness. The first blade, I guard. It rests with the ashes of its maker, the Weapon Master. I don't know the title. Who was he? He saw Jedi as warriors, not only philosophers. Armed them, protected them. The first blade, first Jedi weapon. From this beginning, lightsabers came. Millennia pass. Only hilt of first blade remains. Only disturbed once. Rajavari came. He proved worthy. Permitted to take the hilt. Later, returned it. Why would Master Rajavari take the hilt and then bring it back? Not my concern. To take the hilt, prove worthy. The philosophy of Jedi combat. Show understanding. The Weapon Master left challenges. Here in Kalef. Training droids to test his students. Find them. Prevail. The hilt of the first blade waits. Telemetry is received. All droids report your battle performance satisfactory. Perhaps one day my performance could reach very satisfactory. With training, perhaps. Take the hilt. Treat with respect. Fight with honor. Master Yuan, I found the hilt of the first blade. A proto lightsaber from someone called the Weapon Master. The hilt looks as if there's data engraved on it. Of course. The first blade points the way. Rajivari made the legendary weapon itself our guide. The force is certainly with you, Padawan. Please bring the hilt back to the temple at once. I will look into a way to access that data. <laughs> I have parts here from a droid you sold. I need them identified. It seems my tone was too polite. You'll get your paws on everything, won't you? The 
don't think you can pawn junk off on me. You've caused me trouble. I want a tribute sent to me or I'll return. Hello again, Padawan. I'm glad to see you well. As to Seo Bakar, I was there to greet you when you first arrived. Do you need me for something, Master Seal? At least he has a sense of responsibility. This is Master Jarek Caden, another of the Jedi Council. You untold us about Naylin Raylock, the pilgrim seeking Rajavari's secrets. She also claimed the Force is guiding your training. This isn't unknown, but... Master Yuan mentioned this, but she didn't go into details. Yuan thinks encountering Nalan and finding a few relics proves you're meant to find this fount of Rajavari. It's baseless. First she welcomes that Trandoshan into the temple, now this? She's getting more unorthodox by the day. What do you make of Yuan's claim, Padawan? I trust in Master Yuan's wisdom. The Council has agreed to accept Yuan's opinion. For now. But I am concerned about the dangers this path is leading you through. Finding the Fount of Rajavari before Nalan Ralak does is important. But so is your safety, Padawan. Be mindful. The hologram proves the same technique existed. Don't you see? It'll resolve that silly debate once and for all. Overexcite? I'm not quite ready to... Ah, Padawan. Much longer and we'd have come looking for you. I thought you might have crossed paths with Nalan Raloch again. How goes your hunting? You said you found the first blade, or its hilt at least. Is it? May I see it? Ah, the folds in the metal. The power cell chamber. These are lost techniques. Our lightsabers began here, with this. It's incredible to be in the presence of something so old and influential. I deciphered a second clue from Rajivari's hologram. To find the fount of Rajivari, this hilt must be taken to a cave in the Tythonian Mountains. The hologram says the founders meditated in that cave debated. They became the Jedi Council. All our codes, our laws, and principles can be traced back to those debates. I apologize, Padawan. Kaizen's devotion to the hunt is quite single-minded. I don't mind. I welcome his help. Good luck and be careful. The hologram said nothing of what might be waiting in those caves. This is Captain Gola, Reclamation Service Outpost 701. It's good to see you, my lord. My team's still searching for the Zerka base, but we've hit a snag that, frankly, we can't handle ourselves. Is there anything your team can handle? My team's been through fire and misery. They're survivors, but they're not soldiers. After you left for the Jawas, Lord Silva had a vision. Something about the natives, the sand people. He flew a speeder into the Dune Sea, but we lost the tracking signal in an energy storm. Silva was summoning lightning. Why would Silva go out there alone? Lord Silva was following a dream. The same way he found the lost temple of Zeost and the crystal caves of Molivar. He told me the sand people and their spirit guides were the key. He was looking for some sort of compass. The natives, what are they? What could they do to Silphar? I don't know. They're savages. Still, I wouldn't think they could kill him alone. Find the spirit guides and find him. When you have answers, come to our forward outpost. Did Captain Gola send you? Such a good man. A pity he didn't send young Hale. But the honor is yours. <laughs> You will hear my last words. Slowly. You're not going to die, my lord. It is kind of you to lie. The Force 
called me into the desert. I sensed what Circa found, an alien power. I saw a white room. I thought the sand people would know the land's secrets. I murdered them, stole their thoughts to find this cave. I knew victory before they destroyed me. I followed the shaman's compass, but what is this place? It is a cave of secrets. My journey here was not for nothing. Circa built its base over a site from the natives' myths. A forbidden land. The paintings in the cave show the way. Find them. Record them. Gola and his men, they... <sighs> Your journey is over. Not so far. Find the paintings. But beware. Beware the thing in the white room. Sorry, I don't understand what you mean by Jagannath points. So hunting is how you serve your goddess, this scorekeeper, and increase your status. Apparently not. Do you have any ideas? I should examine them. Maybe piling up the oldest bones is somehow significant to the flesh raiders. Coming so fast, Jedi. That flesh raider stench was making us dizzy. There's flesh raiders all over these caves. Didn't they see you? Nalan cut a path for us. He hid his scent, then took those things down in a flash. Nalan said to wait for you. You've got something he needs. He has to find this fount of Rajavari to keep defending our village. I'm sorry. You were straight with us. But I have to take whatever first blade you found in Kaleth. Nalan needs it. Nalan only cares about the Fount of Rajavari. Sending you here risked your lives when he supposedly wants to save you. You don't get it. We're all... We're scared. Nalan hardly comes into the village now. Barely eats or sleeps. And when you talk to him, his eyes are so strange. I can't give Nalan what he wants. But stand down and I'll do what I can for him. Something terrible is happening, isn't it? Keep your artifact, whatever it is. Keep it away from Nalan. Jedi, please, don't hurt him. Whatever Nalan's become, he did this for us. Here in this cave, 
we founders discussed our vision for the Jedi Order. And I, Rajavari, listened. I listened as they carefully crippled our newborn order. As they argued for mediocrity. It shall not stand. I have laid my plans. With my army made from Tython's true dark sons, I will purge this council of fools while they chatter. Wait, what does he mean by Tython's true dark sons? Only my apprentices and I will survive. From Kaleth, we will mold the Jedi into what we deserve to be. If the hilt of the first blade has been returned, we succeeded, and the future follows the path we left. Follow, Seeker. Follow the path to the Fount of Rajavari. It is time. I can make out some of it, but the rest is gibberish. And the others. See if they figured out anything with the artifact. Sir, I'd like to hear what happened. Follow orders. I'll brief everyone later. I've sent for water and colto, my lord. I'm sure the desert was agonizing, but we've been waiting for word. Any sign of Darth Silthar? He didn't make it. He fell to the sand people and their servants. Damn it. We all felt it, but we weren't sure. We're not blasted Sith. Without Silva, we're just archaeologists with guns. Without him, this whole expedition falls apart. Obey me, and you may yet survive this world. Respectfully, my lord, I can't just turn my team over to you. Gola. Last hail, now's not the time. The artifact, the one the Jawas found. It's got Kayla. We disabled the dampeners, and there was a flash. What? Start containment procedures now. Again, a test Captain Gola. Had to explain this. I don't know. Keela, are you in there? Kabies met at the first. Yan tetro gise. Zahros de dies. Tegesh marwar. Creatures. They were my team. Sir, I think Perrin escaped. He was heading into the desert toward the tribal settlement. Alas, we'll mourn later. You remember the sons of Palawa. You hit them hard in Masila, but their main village is just a few clicks out. If that creature reaches them, this could get very ugly. Let our enemies destroy one another. Under other circumstances, maybe. Not now. Basic rule of Xenoarchaeology. You don't unleash a foreign technology into a population center. 
especially one with a man-machine interface. Worst case, the technology that changed Perrin could replicate. Every person in the settlement could be transformed. If it transforms them, so be it. I don't care what your grudge is. We can't let an outbreak occur. Reclamation Service protocol for contaminated sites mandates atomic heat cleansing of everything within a hundred meter radius. We've got to store up iridium explosives for that purpose. Enough to obliterate the Sun's cave village. But I hope it won't come to that. What choice do we have? If you're lucky, maybe you can take out Perrin before he reaches the settlement. Otherwise, plant the explosives, be careful with them, around the caves. One way or another, the contamination has to be eliminated. Master Yuan, I believe I have the coordinates for the Fount of Rajavari. Paisen mentioned as much. Padawan, I just received a very disturbing message. For you, from Nail and Ralok. Survival. Mine, my villages, and yours, Jedi. Interesting to think about. You fooled my people. It doesn't matter. There's other routes to the Fount of Rajavari. Interfere, and I'll kill you. Nalan has truly fallen then, and he wants you dead. You must be vigilant. You may have found another route, but we're the ones with the map. Yes, the coordinates. Please, let me see them. I've studied similar depictions, and that coordinate matches ancient mappings of the eastern Tythos Ridge. Which fits with the first coordinate perfectly. Well done. But that leaves this coordinate. We can't triangulate the fount of Rajivari without it. Perhaps it's a rock formation. <laughs> That coordinate will give us the Fount of Rajavari. If you think you can find it, please hurry. Padawan, look. In the map's code, there's something else hidden here. A warning? The Fount of Rajavari has mechanisms for intruders. Only those who know Rajavari's path will walk through unscathed to gain his wisdom. Rajavari's philosophies are somehow the way past these mechanisms. Likely traps. We know Kaleth was Rajivari's stronghold, and excavators have uncovered ancient computer terminals in Upper Kaleth. Those terminals might hold answers, if they weren't all locked with passwords. The hilt of the first blade accessed the coordinates to the Fount of Rajivari. It could unlock these terminals too. Of course. Those engravings, some of them resemble security algorithms. Go to Upper Kaleth and investigate those terminals for any clue. I'll wait here for Kaizen. We're close, Padawan, I know it. You. I knew the Empire used dishonorable tactics, but the ghost of the desert, do you know what it does to people? What do you mean, ghost of the desert? An old Jawa legend. A myth that kills with a touch. Within the first minute, that terror changed good villagers into murderous machines. There's a war going on in these caves. Now I'll give my brothers the chance to win by keeping you from interfering. To destroy those monsters, you'll need my help. You began this feud. Why would you help now? I tire of fighting for scholars and archaeologists. This will be glorious. Well, now you can fight with some real warriors. If you really want to assist, I'll tell the others to let you through. At least until the crisis is over. If we destroy the ghosts fast enough, maybe we can stop them from replicating. But if even one survives, we start all over again.
Rajvar is gone. The Council survived. We failed. They'll come for us. They'll have to lay siege if they want to take us prisoner. We can't give in. Asarajvari's fifth principle says, showing mercy to an enemy creates a spiral of destruction. We'll take plenty of Jedi with us. village. You know the sands well. Now that it's all over, do we start fighting again? No, we don't. It will take time to rebuild the settlement. Time we shouldn't spend in pointless battle. You acted honorably, and the blood feud can end. Don't tell me you want to be my friend. No, only to remember you as an honorable foe from a battle long past. However, I can't help suspecting you caused this attack. Intentionally or not, you awakened the desert's terrors. Leave our settlement. Leave Tatooine altogether. Never let us see you here again. Another Jedi today. My seventh. Master Rajabari formed an army from the allies he found past the mountains. We could sure use them now. But they vanished. Just left their servants. Those cannibals in their stupid camps. Master Rajabari's second principle says all life is a battle, even to your last breath. But our allies didn't leave us a choice. Ah, uh, the bleeding won't stop. Blast it! Why did I watch Badger is back? Master Rajavari's seventh principle said it. Sacrificing your strength is the path of a fool. I should have just let her die. It doesn't matter. The siege is nearly over. This can only end one way. Stable. Yes, sir. The stasis field's online. Keep it that way. I don't want the artifact powering up again. Looking all right. You caught up with that monster? The ghosts of the desert live no more. I'll take that as an affirmative. And I'm glad you could spare the village. No one deserves that. Those artifacts Zerka found, they must be capable of infecting people, transforming them. I don't know why you'd build a device like that. But some species did long before humans lived on Tatooine. And the reclamation service has the job of bringing those artifacts home. Are you with us? Sounds like you've got your fire back, Captain. I had my moment of doubt. I saw Keela, Perrin, and Ban die because of it. What we've just experienced, the artifact powering on the takeover, I'm willing to bet Zerka went through the same thing. If we knew where to start looking for Zerka's base, we could scan for the artifact's power signal, track down the laboratory. Too bad Sylpha didn't get more data. The base is in the Sand People's Cursed Land. These drawings should show the way. This? It's primitive, but it looks like a native map. We'll check its age. Calculate the geographical changes since its creation.
think we have it, sir. The native's forbidden zone is in Sector 22G. I can start outfitting a probe immediately. Once you're in position, use this signal device to call the droid. It'll launch from here. In the meantime, we've got friends to bury. Master Yuan, I have the clues we need. Oh, Padawan. Back already? What clues did you find? The terminals held the last words of Rajavari's apprentices. So the Jedi besieged Kaleth after Rajavari tried to kill the Council, and his apprentices held the line all by themselves. Remarkable. I think I have everything I need. Should we focus on getting to the Fount of Rajavari? Yes, and when Kaizen brings us the final coordinate, you can... Wait, where is Kaizen? It's been... How long was I working? I could go and find Kaizen, just to make sure he's all right. He mentioned the waterfall caves, didn't he? If Kaizen has the last coordinate, you can triangulate the fount of Rajivari. There's no time to waste, Padawan. Go, and may the Force be with you both. There's a sandstorm interfering with communications, but I wanted to report. The droids locked onto an underground power signature. Must be an artifact in the Zerka base. We've also found some kind of recorded message. I don't appreciate dramatic pauses. Patching it through now. Is this thing working? <sighs> last. Security Officer Gromick here. I'm the last man out. We've been ordered to seal Zerka's Secret Weapons Division 7. The base was compromised. We thought we had the problem contained to the artifact cave, but it didn't last. Okay, sealing the doors now. Anyone who sees this, don't come in. You don't want to. You really don't want to. They lost the whole base. Imagine that. We've got fragmentary codes and coordinates. But you'll need to run additional scans to unlock the base. There may be more messages, too. We both know if anything is still alive in that base, you're our best chance of retrieving Zerka's artifacts. You'll have to go alone. You've served well, Captain Gerlach. It's all the team, my lord. We've sacrificed a lot for this expedition. Part of me wishes I were going. Zerka found something unthinkably old and alien. But this is how it has to happen. Gola out. This is Director Antaean speaking. As you know, workers' safety is one of Zerka's top priorities, and we take accidents seriously. Therefore, due to concerns surrounding studies of the device, we are implementing a new policy. Anyone wishing to perform a physical inspection of the device must get written authorization from myself and Dr. Daigo. The search using droids and remote scanners may continue normally. Please note that this does not affect our division's overall schedule. Well, Dr. Lyric is gone. He's put in for a transfer and is heading back to Anchorhead, taking one of the lesser relics with him. Good riddance. He was a pain to work with. Still. Lyric's theory about an ancient infinite empire and a master alien species was fringe science at best. But some of his data makes sense. I'm going to run a new series of tests tomorrow, using a remote arm to open up the device. We'll see where it goes from there. This is Director Anteum to all Zerga employees. Please listen and remain calm. A few minutes ago, we experienced a minor equipment failure in the main laboratory. As a precaution, we are initiating lockdown procedures. Do not attempt to override the system so the computers will respond with force. Stay where you are, and you'll be alerted when the situation resolves. 
más me niegues que culpa, que calles en ti. I want my concerns on the record before more people get hurt. I'm worried about the device. Its energy readings keep fluctuating, and it appears to be trying to link with the lesser artifacts. I think it's a weapon, maybe a bomb. Soprin's theory about it being a Gri-Enclave creation are inane. We've already got evidence of an ancient alien civilization visiting Tatooine, and they weren't Gri. We've seen similar technology in the Kashyyyk Shadowlands. I'm sure the Infinite Empire is tied to the device's origins no matter what anyone says, and I'm tired of being ignored. Dr. Soprin here. We've finished our initial catalog of the cave artifacts, which register as over 20,000 years old. You'd think that would narrow down the possible creators, wouldn't you? There weren't many societies capable of space travel in that period. But I can't find any society or species that fits these criteria. Even Gree technology isn't comparable. Anyway, Dr. Larrick and I will study the primary device and assign lesser relics to the others to keep them busy. Hopefully we'll find something useful. Zerka's going to make a fortune off this stuff if we can figure it out. And log. Den frågade mig fel tuff när man kapper. You called yourself the imprisoned one. Det är bland BMT som är basa man. Det är smart sen kan ju jo. Men jag ska med hur du bara. Kefter då ser jag bara att du är där man är bjä. Your people trapped you on Tatooine. The Div Mule Hale, the Yes Nitri Da. There's Matze Kayu Joe, Maestra Mehuruba. This galaxy already has an emperor. Adjectives to us, Viega. Temur, Torete Lorn, Sabies Vegetus, Telebristia. Thank <laughs> you. 
You want to say anything else before I destroy you? Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. The big mule here. He has me in for that. Tell them to then. Get the back check as they are. I'll spare you in return for your service. Be grateful. Let them run at you. I'm not going to ask them at that. Try to treat your injuries. You're still a person, Kaizen, whether you have a score or not. Master Yuan has been at the Jedi Temple for hours. Nalan must have used some force trick to make you think he was Yuan. He can find it. Whether he can enter safely without the clues I've gathered is another matter. I wasn't expecting you to be so quick. Your power is impressive, even among the Sith. I'm sure you want to rest up, but I'd like to hear. Did you find the artifacts? Inside this device is an alien mind. It was responsible for the destruction of Zerka. It says it wants to work with us. There's an intelligence stored in there? That's just incredible, huh? That's amazing. You can do an initial study here, but a find like this has to go to Drummond Kass. You've turned this expedition around. After our losses, I didn't think I'd be filing a mission report, let alone declaring victory. If I hadn't come along, you'd still be searching for Zerka's droids. And maybe we wouldn't have found the Jawas and activated that first artifact. It's hard to say. With Darth Silthar gone, I am in charge. If you ever need our help, you know where to find me. You're not without skill, Captain. I'll remember your offer. You're too kind, my lord. Safe journeys out there. And be careful. This galaxy has a lot of old secrets. will not die without a fight. Of course, here is the other. Seekers of forbidden knowledge always have their pursuers. If you came for Nalan Ralok, he has been and gone. So much is fleeting. But I remain, and I remain the man I was, Rajavari. You can't be alive. The Council struck you down thousands of years ago. You're not falling down. It's an animal. I'm not. 
not your good legs, his ass. Your pet is brighter than he looks. When my body failed me, I refused to become one with the Force. How could I? The Jedi was still imperfect. Here, in my laboratory, I had refined certain devices. I could give one chosen apprentice decades of experience in a day. An apprentice to become worthy to carry my vision. Your wisdom and knowledge were preserved through you and these devices you created. I have waited for new acolytes. I believed Nalen Ralok was a suitable candidate. Disappointment. Nalen walked through the traps instead of solving them. He suffered greatly. You at least survived with your mind intact. Nalen, alas, did not. I know the knowledge he gathered was twisting his mind. I miscalculated. Nalen's mind wasn't equal to the wisdom he demanded. I have made not a successor, but a monster. Nalen will not remake the Jedi. He wishes to destroy them and everything else on this world, beginning with the Great Forge, where lightsabers are made. Without the Forge, the Jedi lose their martial power. You must stop Nalen before he destroys it. I thought you intended to destroy the Jedi. You attacked the Council. I sought to cleanse them, to begin anew. Nalan wants only ashes. That weapon won't suffice against Nalan. It should carry the hilt of the first blade, an old friend. Simple procedure would convert it to a working lightsaber hilt, and perhaps a crystal from the forge caves to power it, given its age. I appreciate your guidance, Master Rajavari. Pass through the caves and seek the forge at the mountain summit. Stop Nalan. This abomination my knowledge has created. Master Rajavari, you've held on to this existence for thousands of years. Perhaps it's time for it to end. Ah, oh, child. You see only what the Jedi are, but I saw what could have been. My colleagues wouldn't listen. I spoke of strength, they cowered. I spoke of a golden age, they chattered of overstepping ourselves. Will happen. Someday, the right acolyte will carry my vision. You thought Nalan Ralok was the right acolyte. Now he's a threat to everything you helped to create. You followed. There will be others. What is waiting to me? Stop Nalan before he destroys the Jedi Order. Someday, I will see it saved. Master Yunlock, the Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. I've been watching you, Sith. 
In coming here, you have adulterated the journey of enlightenment and made a mockery of the Jedi way. I know why you've come. Master Noman Gar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. You figured it out. I will not allow it. It won't be the cause of her exposure. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I assure you, I can be very convincing. Your will may be great, but hers is greater, and mine is unrelenting. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. We cannot win. Turn away now. I fear no one. This is not an attempt at intimidation. Just a simple statement of fact. In me you face a full Jedi Master, and Yu Li has greater command of lightsaber combat than any Jedi Knight I've trained. My lord, the threat is not lost on me. Are you certain we can take on a full Jedi Master and a Jedi Knight? Keep your wits, Quinn. Your compatriot's query is moot, as you will be facing us on your own. Well done, Master Yarnlock. Now please, retreat and let me face the Sith. Your concern is appreciated, Yuli, but I did not seize the advantage here to immediately relinquish it. You don't fight fair, Jedi. When the stakes are this high, I am bound to do whatever it takes to preserve the Order. Now for the last time, will you stand down? Let me think about it. Enough of this! It's useless to reason with the Sith. Yuli, don't! Blazes, my hand is forced! This will require a lot of concentration. If you could look out for me. your weapon, Sith. I beg you. You leave. Stay your tongue. No. She is just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yonlock. Your devotion is remarkable. I'm sorry, Master Yonlock. 
but I must do this. Her name is Jaisa Wilson, and Noman Carr has taken her to... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep. I do not relish wiping Yuli's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Don't try that sorceress nonsense on me, Jedi. Believe me, I would, if I didn't sense it would be futile. Jaisa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. You've already failed, old man. You know Jaisa's name, but that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. I must find tranquility, so Jaisa will sense only peace when you strike me down. Your death will wound her deeply. <laughs> There is no death, only the Force. My lord, I'm sorry I was of no use to you. I did not anticipate the Jedi's incapacitating tactic. Next time, be more prepared, Captain. I will endeavor to do so, my lord. I'm just thankful my support proved to be unnecessary. Sharik said she would be at our ship. She thought we were doomed. We should inform her of our success. She should never have doubted. She's about to learn that, my lord. Fitting that it's you, armed with the last lightsaber this forge will ever make. Look at him! Another Jedi to nod and preach and do nothing while the Flesh Raiders ravage our home! I know Rajavari's secrets, horrors that the Jedi, this Jedi, have been chasing, and only I can protect us, our families, and our future. Nayland, your power is destroying you, but it isn't too late to save yourself. Nayland, this is... you're going too far. How is this protecting us? I did this for all of you. If you can't see the danger, I'll show you myself. Nayland, I don't want to kill you. Then don't fight back. Let's have this done. My own blood. I... I yield. You... beat Nalen Rollick? Please! You're not going to kill him. I won't kill him. He can go to the Jedi Temple until his fate is decided. But we still lose him. The village needs Nalen's help. How are we going to keep it together? If you need me, I'll do whatever I can. Thank you. We'll remember. We can carry Nalan to the temple, Master Jedi. He still belongs to us. Perhaps not. But this is a beginning, not an end. Herald of the Scorekeeper? What is that? I never expected to see you again. Does this mean you ventured beyond the Forbidden Pass and found Master Yonlock? I have yet to meet a challenge I can't conquer. This is a great lesson. The only barriers that exist are the ones we create in our minds. I will never again assume that I know all there is to know, and I will explore the entirety of the Tatooine Desert without reservation. Be sure to take care. 
I will strike a balance between care and daring. I hope Lord Barris knows how fortunate he is to have such a fine champion shepherding his cause. I shall never forget you. I bid you farewell. Safe travels, my lord. If you're ever on Tatooine again, come and see me. You have done admirably, Apprentice. Your time on Tatooine was well spent. Nolan Carr's Padawan Jason Wilson no longer enjoys anonymity. I am very pleased. Make sure the engraver for her tombstone has the name spelled right. No, no. There will be no evidence of her existence. She will be buried in an unmarked grave. Your handling of Master Yonlock has sent our enemies a clear message. Nolan Carr and Jason Wilson now know they cannot hide. North at the Master, and will bring his prized Padawan to her knees. You are a master strategist, my lord. It is deeply satisfying to see a plan take shape. Only Alderaan remains. Jason Wilson's homeworld. Go there immediately. I will contact you when you arrive. We've been waiting for you, Padawan. You've already met Master Jarek. This is Master Satil Shan. I've been treating Nalan Ralak. The pilgrims who carried him here told us of your battle. Remarkable. I would have brought a peaceful solution if I could, Master. Peace is the ideal, Padawan. But there is no shame in defending yourself. Seems we have much to learn about the villagers. Perhaps we should rethink our position. Enough, enough. Padawan, the Fount of Rajivari, you actually set foot there? Please, tell me everything. Master Rajivari himself spoke to me. What was left of him? You saw a force apparition of Rajivari? This is extraordinary. Seems you may have been right, Yuan. I apologize. To you and your Padawan. No longer a Padawan. He carries a lightsaber. He has proven himself. I have only one last question before his training is complete. At the moment, Nalan Ralak is resting in a Kolto tank. When he's well, what should become of him? Nalan proved he has great strength in the Force. Maybe he has a future with us. And bring reconciliation between us and the villagers. A sound idea. We judge you ready to accept your place as a Jedi. Yuan, if you would. Before this council, I take from you the title of Padawan. I name you a full Jedi of our order. Honor the past. Work for the future. May the Force be always with you. You've done so well, my student. I'm... Master Yuan? Go away. Yuan, can you hear me? Yuan is resting comfortably for now. It seems she's suffering some kind of illness. I can't lie to you. Her condition is grave. Is Master Yuan going to be all right? You knew Yuan was ill and didn't inform us? Now I see why she was so devoted to my training. We're sending Yuan to Coruscant. Our researchers there have been recovering artifacts from the first Jedi temple. They may have something to cure you on. Take a shuttle and join you on on Coruscant. She will need your help. I'll do everything I can to make her well. <laughs> Meantime, assure you on we will be studying your discoveries about Rajavari. 
some of the claims his apprentices recorded bear investigation. <laughs> 